Hello everyone, I'm Filip Manuilov and I'm not AI. And without further ado, let's get into the video. This is not my usual theme of the videos, but I guess it's just important to bring some things that are happening to the world and per among of the current events we have to stay ahead and always be mindful of what's going on <clears throat> and the thing i want to talk about is artificial intelligence i mean we've heard it a lot we've heard lots of things about it all the chat gpt and mid journey stuff but i probably want to mention and talk about some of the new video tools maybe you've heard about sora and the amazing uh, ai video production that is happening right now and the speed at which it's growing is just absolutely insane and i just want to express my couple of thoughts that i have regarding this topic and the first one being that it would it is quite hard for us to project where that ex thing is going but we could already see based on the precedent of the existing technology and what was happening with ai a year ago and at the speed at which it's developing it's clear that it is faster than we think and probably that's the main idea and we always need to understand where it could go and what the potential implementations of it are and one of them i think is the video creation that would be the actual artificial video creation which is completely real and for the viewer it would be really hard to tell whether it's real or not. You will not know if it was created by AI or if it was actually filmed. And I think this can be implemented into many spheres of life, not just everyday occurrences or just video generation in general for just advertising or harmless video productions. It could always also be used by the media machine and manufacturing of news you would never really know what happened or what didn't happen and we have to understand that there's an opportunity for a massive deception where video is no longer used as a tool of proof or as a reliable tool for us to understand what's actually happening and you will no longer know what's real or not so i think this is a potential for a huge deception mechanism that it could be used and I believe it will soon be used by the masses on the TV and all sorts of media. But the further thing that I think is possibly developing is they no longer need to be real or not real. The, I, the whole goal is to deceive and to create an illusion of things. So you will no longer understand what is happening and Basically, I mean, you need to stay always vigilant in the and how you react to this and how you see it, the content. And even if things are real, they might not be real anymore. And because of the tools that already exist, you simply see something that actually happened, but you could think, well, maybe it's AI generated and maybe it's not real. So I think we no longer have this opportunity to believe videos and things. I mean, we're at this verge of technology where that's about to happen. And we'll, that will be fatal, I guess. And also, I want to say that there will be possibly some artificial intelligence or artificially created characters. I know already for a fact there already there has been some presence of artificial bloggers that don't actually exist so imagine you pull up your instagram feed and you have an entire blogger personality but this personality is actually fake and is being created by some some other person or maybe a group of people and is developing a following and then they can produce artificial well artificially made advertising that this fake person is speaking and advertising to the world and same for i think the next step further would be youtube creators or any other video platform creators that are also 
artificially generated and moreover I think it's possible for other YouTube channels and like big channels the people basically you will never gonna meet in real life you will not be able to tell if their content is actually real if this person is still functioning if they are alive or not and I think that's the potential dangers of this kind of video creation so that's why I'm saying I'm not AI because even if there will be such an opportunity I will decline and absolutely refuse the opportunity to create a video of me that's artificial I'm not saying that's not gonna happen but I personally claim that I would not be willing for this to happen and this is absolutely terrible because think about how all the creators their channels they no longer will need the person who is the creator and if anything goes wrong worst case scenario that channel could just get the person could get eliminated you would never know as a subscriber as a person who knows it you would be like oh well they magically disappear and then they reappear there's something maybe slightly off as the technology grows you will not see any difference after that and I think that's absolutely mind-blowing so then you'll be able I guess to sell your channel with your complete personality and or even pass it as an inheritance for example super big channel with tens of millions of followers and even if the person is no longer with us the channel could still function as a business and I think it's kind of mind-blowing to me and I want to say that it's quite funny I recently started noticing that there's a bottom on uh, YouTube when you upload the video it's asking you oh is this channel is this content AI generated or not AI generated and I say yeah it's not AI generated whatever but I guess let's say it is AI generated and then you don't click this button and then what's checking it there's no amount of people that can potentially check all the future creations of artificial intelligence so essentially we will have AI checking for AI and maybe there's some other robot watching this is also AI so we'll have AI police for AI content for AI consumers and yeah that's a that's a wild circle and a wild thing to think about but anyways I think it still remains and leaves room for opportunities and creation of interesting content maybe you actually want to create a character that's advertising and that's for general the force of good but I just guess I guess as the world becomes more and more technologized it is quite relevant to remain a bit more human and I think the human touch is really a crucial aspect to a lot of things that we do and on that note I want to say thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends if you think that's interesting and as always stay vigilant.